What's up guys, I'm Hector, and recently asked a bunch of people from all around the world if they had any questions or statements and all that stuff relating to American stereotypes. Now these people aren't from the United States, but I am, and so I wanted to respond to all these different ones in my own opinion, personal way, but then I will go back later and do some research and then add it as like a little subtitle, actual factual information at the bottom of this video. All right, this one actually comes from one of my friends from Australia. It says, let's see. After watching a generous helping of political satire growing up in Australia, you would believe everyone in the U.S. of A. has a gun, a desire to upsize everything except supermodels, go over the top with a flag waving, and religious worship, and sell their mothers for a taste of fame. And that's all stuff I see in Australia, too, although although our gun control went in the opposite direction after a fellow by the name of Martin Bryant sparked a na nationwide crackdown on firearms. This is a pretty long one, but I'll try and go by it one by one. All right, uh, let's start with the guns. Everybody in the United States of America does not have a gun. I'll just put that to bed right now. That's not true, but... I believe the United States of America does is the country with the most amount of guns per capita or per population or something like that. And I believe the statistic was if everybody are there are enough guns in the United States to where every person, man, woman and child would be able to own a gun. But of course, not everybody owns a gun, which means there are some people that own multiple guns and some people that don't own any guns. And there's a huge, you know, debate over different aspects of gun control here and there. Some people want to do more type things like um, more thorough background checks because you can't just walk into a store and buy a gun. You actually have to go through a certain type of background check and... Um, I think you have to wait a certain amount of time. Well, it also depends state by state because each state has certain um, laws, rules, regulations, and stuff that might be a little bit different from each other. I know that there are some states, if not all, I'm not entirely sure, that say you have to wait about three days from when the background check starts or clears maybe to when you can actually buy the gun, something like that. And so, of course, not everybody has a gun but there are a lot of guns in the United States and there are these huge companies or I don't know if you re can really call them companies like National Rifle Association is really up on guns and pretty much their excuse for everything is or their answer to everything is more guns if we have a problem with guns more guns and when there is this huge school shooting in like an elementary school uh, has it been like two years now or maybe one year I'm not sure but the NRA's response was we should have given um, we should have given teachers guns. Yeah. So of course there are some stupid answers to the gun problem, and then there are some smart ones here and there. So that's pretty much my gun response. So let's go on to the next one. Everybody has a desire to upsize everything except for supermodels. That, I would say, is true to a degree, you know. Everybody does want a bigger car, or a more fancy car, actually, I would say. Upsize to fanciness, more expensiveness. Because, you know, sometimes they get those super compact Italian cars or whatever, but they're expensive as all hell. And I know my camera keeps freezing, and it's really pissing me off. So, yeah, people want expensive, fancy cars. People want huge houses, even if they can't live through all of it. They want this and that. But of course, most people, in general, I guess, the models would like, or they would like models that are super thin. And I remember, I've heard a couple stories, like news type stories, where people would talk to these fashion designers and stuff, and they say they want models that are so damn thin, because when they're wearing the clothes, they want it to be like the clothes are on a hanger. I believe somebody said, a fashion artistic person, whatever you want to call them. I hate fashion. I hate all those models BS stuff. But of course there are plus size models here and there. Well, some plus size models, models in certain companies or name brands are basically the size of a regular American, a regular human I would say. 
So there's, you know, a bit of a whole thing with that. So I guess you can say that one's true. Um, go over the top with flag waving and religious worship. I don't know what you're talking about. That's... <laughs> okay, seriously? I, uh, I just put that in the background because I wanted something in my background when I'm making American videos. I'm usually not the type to wave flags and all that stuff. But there are some that are get really super patriotic and love waving flags and all that stuff. And actually, when I discussed that idea with my sister, she was even saying, you know, you got to be careful with the whole flag stuff because it's super symbolism, it's sim symbolism and it's all powerful and all that stuff. And personally, I'm not a symbolism type dude. I don't really care. It's a flag. Yes, I realize the flag symbolizes something, but it symbolizes it. It isn't it. It's a symbol. But there are some people that go way overboard with it. Like, they would say if you drop the flag on the floor, you need to burn it or something like that. And um, they might get really upset if you leave your flag outside when it's raining. I think that might even be against the law or something. I don't know. And then during um, Veterans Day, we actually had a little girl going around our our block and actually handing out flags if we didn't have a flag up she came we had our flag in the garage and she came up to our door she said I saw you didn't have a flag so here's a little mini flag like put it out in your yard or whatever and I was like thanks I guess and um sometimes you might see on Facebook people saying United States US flags shouldn't be made in China Taiwan Mexico anywhere they should only be made in the United States Oh, uh, well, whatever. I guess you can have your opinion on that. But some people do go really crazy and over the board with it. And it can't even get into dangerous levels sometimes. I'm not one of those persons. I'm just, you know, like whatevs on it. Then when it comes to religious worship, uh, I guess, yes. Um, yes and no, I would say. Because... Like, like I've said before, the United States is a huge kind of mixing pot of different races and religions and all that stuff. But of course, the number one religion based on, you know, population and stuff is, you know, like Christianity and Catholicism, that whole mixture area. So, um, but there are a lot of people that just say that they're Christians and Catholics, you know, they're Sunday Christians. So they go to church on Sunday and, you know, they try and do good things but they're not so overly religious that they push their religion on other people or they discriminate against others or do everything that's in the Bible. Because there are some really bad things in the Bible if you ever read it. So there are some people, especially in the South, the, the South, which is actually more Southeast United States, those states, it's actually called the Bible Belt, that area because they're so overly religious and things can get a little crazy down there. Um, sell their mothers for a taste of fame. I wouldn't say that. You know, some people do some crazy stuff for a little bit of fame, but I think people all around the world do that. And they don't really, they, I wouldn't say the, more, the majority of people would do stuff to their family or whatever for fame they usually do stuff to themselves stupid things to themselves of course there is some families that are on reality shows like that honey boo boo stupid ass show I never have seen it but I know that like the whole family is on the show or something but I think it got cancelled earlier this year something like that so uh, some people might do some crazy things usually to themselves though not to other people just for a little bit of fame but I would say people all around the world would do that. I mean, look at those American Idol type shows around the world, or if you got talent shows, and then they put themselves through kind of humiliate, humiliating things for a little bit of fame. All right, so I took everybody's responses and cut them up so I can put them into multiple videos instead of one super long, boring video. So if you haven't seen your response yet, it'll probably be in a later video. But if you want to add 
your own response for American stereotypes, rumors, myths, or whatever, just add a comment below and I'll probably put it in a future video. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. It's cool. And um, share this video for with all your friends who might not live in the United States and maybe they'll want to add some of their own stereotypes. And I'll try to respond to all that I can. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.